Just a quick video tour. Or wanted to do one with, for my mom. Okay, so starting with the Civil War. Here we have stuff about the Civil War. Got a sword or saber, whatever you wish to call it. Ooh, got a placard here. And if it'll focus. Focus. Got a nice knife, a couple dollar bills, Medal of Honor. I think that's Medal of Honor. I forget what kind of ammunition that is, but I know. Grand Army of the Republic. More Civil War stuff. Oh, funeral flag. Hmm. World War One. Memorabilia. Helmet, jacket. Da 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 da. Ooh, people. Enter World War Two. So World War Two katana, Japanese bolt action rifle with a huge bayonet, German Luger. I want to say that's a cold, but I could be wrong. A couple knives, bowl, canteens, unknown arrow, probably World War II. The reason I say that is because Japanese flag and more World War II memorabilia, flat jacket, excuse me, flak, flat, yeah, right, uh, bazooka, grenade, or, no, I'm sorry, bazooka launcher, that was first aid kit back in the day, couple medals, how sweet. Enter Vietnam War. This is what they held POW who's in. And yes, that is actual size. This is actually originally what they used to hold a tiger in. This is a tiger cage. See? Tiger cage. Mm -hmm. Oh, they also used it in Korea. Desert Storm? Hmm. Some more memorabilia. Life size torpedo. And one, two, three, four, five, six paces long. Uh, looks to be more World War II memorabilia. Maybe World War One, probably World War Two though. Oh look, an MRE. How sweet. Da 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 da. Let's see here. Looks like an M1 Garand and a bolt action and Win, not Winchester. British one. I forget what the British one was called. Enfield, I think. Uh, more Lugers. Combat knife. Dang, those suckers were big. And behold, our replica of the U uh, USS. What the heck am I talking about? The German ship, battleship, to be more specific, Bismarck. And here's something you might find cool. Bismarck, did you know? Now this one, I did not know. Number three. Only the Yamamoto class was bigger. A couple more interesting facts. See if I can focus in on it. Okay. Here's some modern war in Iraq. Afghanistan, War on Terror. It's like every step is a step in one direction of time. 
the war and the world in flames, World War Two. All that's World War Two memorabilia. Paddle. Clothes washer. This is the bat fish crew. 70 something members, 74 I think. Her three skippers are in service. One, one, two, three. Okay. Look at how big these bullets are. And this is just a shell. This is the canister that they fire from. Prior to the World War II submarines and some years before World War II started, there was this is every Japanese ship that sunk. These flags here represent Imperial Japanese Navy. These represent and merchant vessels that were hiding Japanese. And this is a bell. Yes, it still works. That was loud. I didn't even swing hard. Okay. And now for the outside. This is a plaque of everyone who served aboard her that is still on patrol. What that means is those who lost their lives at sea. Anyone who is on board a submarine who loses their life is considered still on patrol, not KIA. And way over there, you can see the, that thing right there is the largest piece left of, of the USS Oklahoma. That's right, I got to go to Hawaii without leaving the mainland. So there, Chuck. I got to see Pearl Harbor, na 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 na. And the, this is the USS Batfish. Well, it's plaque anyway. So I can get a good focusing shot of it. Focus does not want to behave. Ew. Okay. Okay. And now all the long walk. Dum dum da dum dum da dum da dum da dum. I get to walk the last mile again. This is one of the hatches they had. Yes, that's what it's called a hatch. This I have no idea. We call it a seat. It's probably where they had a deck gun. That's the exit, so I can't go that way. This is a mount for something. Here's another hatch. There's the crow's nest. Another deck gun. Uh, oh, I want to... I know the name of that gun, but I can't, can't remember it. On the left. Left over here. This is a deck gun, probably for anti-air. But that one, I can't remember. Er, I know what it's called. That sucker. Anyway. Over here we have a bomb and a half slash C. This is a loading plank where they, they would slide out the torpedo tubes down into the deck. Back or deck compartment, if you will, into the entrance, which, as you may no doubt be surprised to find out, is the forward or bow torpedo room, which, as you can see, has been made quite spacious. Uh, and that is the original main hatch. How would you like I like to call this your bunk for, for the next five years. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Four fists of mine high. And look at this. Look at this. It's one, two, three, 
Three Fists, our video tour, giving us that stupid whistle. As you can see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six fish tubes, or torpedo tubes, whatever you want to call them. And they even named one. How about that? Captain Woody, or Captain Woody, sorry. These ones are much smaller than we have today. So. Uh, look at that. My hand is almost as wide as the shower room. Yes, this is where you would take your shower. That's your shower, and that's your head. Head is what they call a bathroom. So again, two hands wide. It, it's a locker. It's the size of a high school locker. Oh, this is a knee knocker, by the way. Why do they call it that? Because you would smash your knee many a time on this. Oopsie daisy. Oof. This is the pantry. You know, potatoes, rice, canned goods. The coffee room. Yeah, get your coffee maker, sink. Couple drawers. Officer's mess. Yeah. Real luxurious. Not. There's probably the captain's quarters. Don't know if you could really see it. Gotta look ten times fatter in this reflection. Um, another shot of the mess. More captain's quarters or officer's quarters. There were only four officers who ate in the officers' mess. That's the captain, first mate, and whatever. A couple more officers or quarters. Probably not officers. I don't know. This is the. Uh, no, I want to say scry. I'd yeoman, quartermaster, you know, filing room. Whoops! Shame on me. Uh. Another bulkhead slash knee knocker. Uh, not built for comfort, that's for sure. This is the control room. This is the compass. Little off center. And up here, through that watertight door, huh? or up here, through this, into a watertight compartment, is a... Uh, I forget what it's called. Hold, I knew it a second ago. Oh, here we go. Torpedo firing control is contained in the conning tower. This panel has... Conning tower, that's what I'm... Ow! That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, see, you can see the, uh... Periscope. The... The... Uh, that room is the smallest on the ship, believe it or not. So unless you're two foot nothing, you ain't getting up there. Breaker box is probably power supply, You're whatever. Nearly in the center of the submarine. This section is called the control room. Gee, I wonder why it's called the control room. For also known as Command Central. The Badfish's crew was highly trained. This is called Save the Christmas tree. Gee, I wonder why. Oh. Couldn't be possibly be due to all the lights and dials. That would be too obvious. Now I wanted my dad's favorite room, where he would most likely work, the radio room. Morse code tapper. Couple keyboards. Yeah, two people worked in the, his confinement. Clearly this place was never built for comfort! Now, oh, 
Shame on me, I just smashed the camera. Or smacked it, not smashed it. Any damage? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so this is the galley, aka mess. Why? Because it's always a mess. 74 people, three times a day, were served in this itty-bitty area. This is the rack room. Four high. I'm sorry, three high. One, two, three. Okay, and four wide. And somehow, 80 people lived in this sardine can. You've got to be kidding. And this is probably the more public restroom. Sink, mirrors, whatnot. I'm having to go a little bit quicker now because I'm running out of time to record. Oof! Engine room. My This is where my brother Chuck would work. Oh, look at that. Lots of horsepower. <laughs> yeah. And electric power, I might add. Thank you very much. Oof! And this is the second engine room. knee knockers <laughs> should call all it auto who size six <laughs> this is the other electrical room oh, I could charge batteries switch that's what I ever was charging or not char charging control the speed this thing could book up to nine knots that's it Nine knots for a full hour. The submarine was always operated by electrical power. The diesel engine generators powered the motors when the sub was on the surface. It ran on storage battery power when it was submerged. Being a uh, battery-powered submarine, diesel battery, we had to surface. Good timing for that little clip. Ugh. And now the rear, stern, and back end. Well, they had another, let's see here, one, two, three, four torpedoes. And now out the back. Oh, look, they even had another sink back here. Help, hold on. Right. I'm running out of time. I'm here on my recording, so I gotta move. Oof. Hoo doggy. It is toasty in there. And stifling. I would not want to live on one of those long term. Oh, you see that giant black thing? It looks like. Like the world's ugliest hood ornament? That, my dear friends and viewers, and whoever else, is the one and only aquatic landmine. Or simply, a mine. Yeah, a sea mine. Th that is what was designed to sink a ship. Oh look, they even have some rockets. Okay, well unfortunately I'm running out, out of time. I've got less than 60 seconds of video left. Hope you enjoyed it.